This is the video presentation for the determination of kinematic viscosity of biodiesel, Analytical Services Method 34. Kinematic viscosity of a fluid is a property that indicates the fluid resistance to flow. Kinematic viscosity is determined by measuring the time for a volume of liquid to flow under gravity through a calibrated glass capillary viscometer. The viscosity of biodiesel is essential to product specifications for application, operational conditions, storage, and handling. The viscosity method described here is based on these official methods. The range of kinematic viscosities covered by this test method is from 0.2 to 300,000 millimeters squared per second, or cinestokes, at all temperatures. Before attempting this technique, it is mandatory to read the test method in its entirety. This presentation is simply an overview or a summary of kinematic viscosity. The good laboratory practices associated with safety and personal protective equipment represented in this video are simply the safety requirements of the FAPC analytical services. We urge you to determine what specific good laboratory practices and particular safety requirements are necessary for your own method application. Some of the recommended guidelines include follow safety precautions at all times, consult the material safety data sheet for detailed information on the chemical substances related to the method, wear the appropriate personal protective equipment for handling chemicals and instrumentation, Record data at the time of observation. The equipment required to measure kinematic viscosity includes temperature controlled bath, a transparent liquid bath of sufficient depth such that any portion of sample in the viscometer is less than 20 millimeters below the surface of the bath liquid or less than 20 millimeters above the bottom of the bath. For each measurement, the temperature control of the bath shall be between 15 and 100 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 0 0.02 degrees Celsius. The bath used by analytical services has been calibrated by the manufacturer to meet the temperature requirements. Viscometers. Use only calibrated viscometers of the glass capillary type. Because the minimum time requirement for a viscosity measurement is 200 seconds, and the broadest viscosity specification for biodiesel is 1.9 to 6.0 cinestokes, a number one Ubelodi style capillary viscometer works well on most biodiesel blends. Table one lists the various viscometer sizes recommended for different viscosity ranges. The solvents needed are toluene and acetone for viscometer cleaning, hydrochloric acid for the periodic removal of organic deposits, and deionized water. The materials required include viscometer holders. These suspend the viscometers vertically with as little tilt as possible. Viscometer stoppers, timer, suction device, pipette bulb or equivalent, funnel, beaker, and a desk lamp. Protective equipment includes gloves, safety eyewear, in a lab coat or apron. A certified viscosity standard that is similar in viscosity to the sample being analyzed may be used to verify bath temperature, viscometer function, and analyst training. Before beginning any testing, proper bath setup must be verified. If the water level is low, the bath should be refilled to one centimeter from the top with a 2% solution of household bleach and clean tap water. Deionized or distilled water will cause corrosion and must not be used. Turn on the power to the viscometer bath and adjust the temperature to 40 degrees Celsius and ensure that temperature remains stable. The temperature set point can be adjusted by pressing the mode button until the set point option appears, then using the arrows to raise or lower the temperature set point. For further, more detailed bath instructions, refer to the owner's manual. Allow the bath approximately 30 minutes to come to temperature and stabilize. To analyze a standard or sample, select a clean, dry, calibrated viscometer having a range over the estimated kinematic viscosity. The flow shall not be less than 200 seconds. 
the generally accepted range for biodiesel is 1.9 to 6.0 sinistokes, so a number one viscometer may be a good choice. Refer to Table 1 for specific viscometer recommendations for the expected viscosity range. Carefully transfer the sample to the viscometer with the final fluid level between the two lines on the reservoir bulb. The reservoir bulb is the largest section of the viscometer and will have the size and serial number printed on the outside. Equip the viscometer with a holder and place it in the bath. The holder should sit firmly in one of the top openings of the bath and the viscometer should be held securely. Allow the sample temperature to equilibrate by leaving the viscometer in the bath for at least 30 minutes. Use a stopper to carefully plug the smallest tube portion at the top of the viscometer. It will be the tube in the middle out of the three glass tubes. With a pipette bulb or another suitable suction device, carefully charge the viscometer by drawing the sample liquid into the measurement tube. This is the tube on the right when facing the bath and it has a small bubble in the glass with line markings above and below the bubble. The liquid must be drawn above the higher line. Quickly remove the suction device and the viscometer stopper. Wait for the sample liquid level to fall to the higher of the two lines. When the fluid meniscus is precisely at the line, start the timer. Now wait for the sample liquid level to fall to the lower of the two lines. When the fluid meniscus is precisely at the line, stop the timer. Record the time in total seconds. Repeat the measurement two more times for a total of three measurements. Calculate the kinematic viscosity of the sample using the constant listed on the viscometer certificate. The kinematic viscosity is calculated by multiplying the measured flow time in seconds by the viscometer constant that is determined by the manufacturer. This calculation yields a result in the units of sinistokes. The measured viscosity for standards cannot vary from the certified viscosity value by more than 0.3%. This is the standard tolerance. If the standard tolerance exceeds 0.3%, verify the temperature of the bath, check the timer settings, and inspect the viscometer. Report the average kinematic viscosity calculated from the three replicates analyzed. For maintenance and cleaning guidelines, refer to Analytical Services Method 34.